So unit testing versus integration testing. What do people mean when they say integration testing? What do people mean when they say unit testing? Uh, there are many ambiguous definitions such as a unit testing is something that tests a single unit of work, but again, highly ambiguous. What does a unit of work mean? Let's talk about that. A unit test is an isolated test. An integration test, on the contrary, is an integrating test. So unit testing is when you are testing in full isolation. Not half isolation, but full isolation. And anything that's not completely isolated, by definition, is an integration test because it's not a unit test. So we now have to define what we mean with integrating. A simplified view would be to say that if component, module, class, whatever, uses any other module, component, class, then it's integrating. But that would also, of course, encompass integrations with the language or the framework that you're using. When I say framework, I use the term very loosely because I mean framework or uh, library or language or essentially if, I mean, so uh, if you're in Ruby, it's Ruby core. If you're in uh, .NET, it's .NET, etc. So essentially the, the core of the language that you are currently using. So if you're uh, using file utilities or uh, random or even string helpers such as running regexes or I mean you have an instance of a string and you say dot substring or you use uh, string interpolation so formatting or things like this that would mean that you're integrating with something else and if you take that to its extreme in absurdum you will realize that it's very hard to isolate anything if you can't integrate with anything that's given by the language that you are in. So I would take a little bit, a, a, a tiny step back from that. Let me give you what I consider to be a fairly unambiguous definition. So I would consider it like so. I would say that uh, with the main framework, if, if it's non-deterministic, then integration. If it's deterministic and in the main framework, I would say that your test is still a unit test. And whenever you are using any piece of code that's not your own and that's not in the core of the language you're in or the sort of main framework that you're in, then that makes your test an integration test. However, any code that you write, if your class uses another class, that's necessarily integration always. It doesn't matter if it's deterministic or non-deterministic or anything else, any, nothing matters. As long as your class or module uses some other class or module that you wrote, that's necessarily integration. Okay. So that's my quick definition of the difference between a unit test and an integration test. I'm pretty sure you were aware that a lot of people are arguing that you should reduce the number of integration tests and have fully isolated unit tests. But if you think about the definition I've just posed, you will realize that it's kind of tough to, to isolate fully and uh, turn your integration tests into unit tests. I would subjectively argue that it's worth it. And I won't go in, in this video into how to actually isolate your integration tests, but I can sh very shortly say that the solution is dependency injection. So if you want to know more about that, do subscribe to this channel.